For many queries in the world, spirituality has been a source of pain, isolation, and fear. Many are taught that being queer is unnatural, sick, and evil, when ideally spirituality is supposed to be a source of support and acceptance. As a young queer myself, I've had to stand up to much oppression, but I've had my spirituality to fall back on. I was born and raised in a Wiccan household. Wicca is a spiritual faith that honors and celebrates nature and life in all its forms and phases. Our deities are symbols and representations of these parts of nature. Many believe that we are evil witches who worship and support Satan. That is not true. Wicca is about celebrating and honoring life, not harming it. My parents have taught me that no one can oppress me for my spiritual beliefs. They told me to not be ashamed of who I was. If I was ashamed of myself, no one will respect my identities. There was this one time in Boy Scouts where I was on a camp out. It was a stormy night and the wind was blowing and the thunder was cracking. The boys I shared a tent with were freaking out over the weather. They wanted to pray for the weather to let up. Not too long after they started praying, they wanted me to join them. When I told them that I was not Christian and wasn't interested in praying to Jesus, they then proceeded to hold my hands together and tried to force me to pray. When I would refuse, they would hit me. After a while, I made the excuse that I had to go to the outhouse, but instead, I went to get my dad and the other leaders. One of the other leaders, who happened to be the father of one of the boys, said that he did not raise his son to abusively force religion on others. But I think my dad was the most furious. He was very clear that any more religious harassment will result in that boy being kicked out of the troop. This was a strong example of how my father was very passionate about teaching me that I could not allow people to diminish my spirituality. When I came out as queer, I learned about the obstacles that I would have to overcome, the hatred and bigotry I would have to face with announcing my sexual and gender identities. By learning to stand up for myself spiritually, I was able to stand up for my queer beliefs. Being queer would still bring me challenges, but I would still find comfort and support with my spiritual community. I knew that I could come to my community and find no judgment, just love. Even if there were things about being queer they didn't understand, they would be willing to listen and learn so they can better support me. Some of the greatest life lessons I've learned from my spiritual community has been that of body image and self-worth. We are taught that all life is beautiful. Our deities are depicted in all genders, body types, and races, which creates this idea that we all represent these greater powers by being our natural selves. And by being created in these images, we all have a bit of the divine in ourselves. This is an idea I try to take with me into the LGBTQ community. I try to show that we are all beautiful and worth something. We all can be leaders, and we all are divine.